Yo, 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 what's going on, YouTube? This is episode 39. Episode 39. Welcome, guys. Welcome to your boy. Welcome to the YouTube channel. Got another shoe for you guys. So, Jordan MA2. How y'all doing out there? This uh on this wonderful day. How y'all doing? Let's see, uh got some paperwork in here. Oh. Alright, I purchased these from Jimmy. Jimmy Jazz. Yeah. Oh look at them. Look what they sent me. A little thank you um gift. Isn't that cute? Isn't that cute? Mm. Boy, these colorways. Yeah. That's size 11 and a half. Um, all these Jordan MAs are hitting for 125. 125. I feel like that's kind of the perfect price range because. Uh, when I first got into the sneaker business, I'm gonna say sneaker business, this culture, you know what I'm saying? If I'm pronouncing that right. Um, these shoes, I was buying these Jordans for like 200, 220, depending on if it's like a holiday shoe or something like that, 225. I think the most I ever spent on a shoe was probably five or six hundred dollars. Um, but yeah. It's kind of nice to buy a shoe that's like 125 even though some people will feel like that's a lot of money you know what i'm saying and granted you know for a shoe i guess it is excuse me i guess it is a lot of money but you know you gotta pay to play I mean, if it's something you like you're gonna you're gonna pay for it you know what i'm saying no matter if it's to get your hair done nails done feet done ladies you know what i'm talking about uh even for the fellas uh, you know what I'm saying? Getting that nice fit to go with them shoes. Yeah. But anyway, we're going to move on. Bam. Look at this shoe. This color on this shoe is nice, man. It's really nice. Let's see. What's the name of this color? I don't want to get this green color wrong. Uh, oh, it doesn't say. It just says black and multicolor. Or multicolor, but yeah, I feel like this is a tropical pink color here, and this here would be like a teal, nice bright teal color. Give y'all a good look at the shoe, but yeah, you know what I'm saying? 125 that's not bad for a shoe with this quality. The comfort level for this shoe, you know what I'm saying? I'm not saying like on a scale of one to 10, when it comes to comfort, I get this mug a, a 10, to be honest with you. Let me see. I said 10, you know? Y'all let me know in the comment section, what y'all, what, 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 you, what would you rate it? Scale to one to 10 when it comes to comfort for this shoe. What would you rate it? Me, I'd give it a 10. You know what I'm saying? This is actually a comfortable shoe. You know what I'm saying? If it wasn't as comfortable as I'm saying it was, I wouldn't even be buying um, all of these colors that, that come out with this shoe. Be honest with you. I just kind of put a put a pause on buying the retros. You know what I'm saying? Because the retros are, at least in my opinion, they're hard to get. Uh, and I don't feel like paying reseller prices for these retros that come out. I just, I just really don't. But these Jordan, you know what I mean by retros? I'm talking about the Jordan 13s, the 14s, the Jordan 5s, all of those Jordan 1 through um, 13. I'm not really a big fan of the 14s. Not really a big fan of the 5s neither. <clears throat> nor the 3s, nor the 2s. 
Let's see what else. But I think the rest of the numbers I'm, I'm okay with. They haven't released any Jordan 10s in a while, so, you know, or uh, Jordan 9s, now that I think about it. Or maybe recently, like last year or something like that, they did release some Jordan 9s. But I'm just saying to say that uh, I'm okay uh, with just purchasing uh, these shoes, the Jordan MA2s, you know what I'm saying? I, I get to the retros when I could get to them. Right now, people charging an arm and a leg for these retros, man. They had them um, Jordan 13 um, red flints. Like, like, man, they charging too much money uh, for for uh, these resellers. I'd rather get the shoes at retail if I can. But like I said, with this boss system going around, I mean, living strong, should I say, it's daring and impossible for me to cop a shoe. So, like I said, I wait till I get my money up. Once my money start looking right, then I'll be able to go purchase the shoes that I missed out on. Hopefully, I'll, hopefully my money is good to where I don't have to worry about how much I'm spending, even though I'm still gonna spend smart. Still gonna try to get the best deal, if there is a good deal. <clears throat> anyway, let's go to the shoe real quick. Y'all see this sway here? Harry sway too, I wanna say. I don't really know the difference between Harry sway and regular sway, but I believe either way, if you see like the ch color changing, or if you could just feel this material, like this is pretty good. Even though this here looks like it's super ashy, like my knuckle here, but uh, it's the shoe. I wonder over time me wearing it would that change? That doesn't bother me none though. Yeah, it's just the material there. Yeah, toe box there, mesh material there, mesh material right there, going all the way up the shoe. Black laces, black sock liner. See the insole there. It's black with the uh, teal letters and a uh, tropical pink jump man. I'm just calling it tropical pink. I don't really know the color of this, and they don't put it on the box neither. So we gonna go with tropical pink, but um. I will put the correct, um, the correct name of the colors in the description. You know what I'm saying? If I find out what they are, just so y'all know. I try to do that for all my vids. You know what I'm saying? Put the correct colorway, just in case if you know people are looking for this shoe and they and they want to look at it based off the color. They were looking for the shoe based off the color. You know what I'm saying? This pull tab here is pretty useful. I use this sometimes. And this is a pull tab here, if y'all didn't know. You know what I'm saying? Then they got a pull tab right there on the tongue as well. If y'all didn't peep that out too. Right there. So, I mean, I use both. Actually, very useful. Bottom sole. It's clean. Real nice and clean. I can see myself wearing this to work because of the bottom sole is just black. And then the upper part is black, you know what I'm saying? It's, it's, it's just easy to keep clean, you know what I'm saying? Very easy to keep clean. This white part here is easy to keep clean. This here is just where it's going to collect the most dirt. Maybe it's because how I walk and how I um, position my foot when I'm driving. But other than that, you know what I'm saying, it's all good. This up here is synthetic leather, by the way. So this will be easy to clean as well. Unless you get, um, you wear some blue jeans or any kind of pair of jeans and a dye is coming off and it's running on this white part here. You know what I'm saying? Then I don't know how, how much of a problem that would be, 
But these days, you know, people have found ways to, um, tips and tricks that they discover and they share with other people how to keep stuff clean, how to remove stains on certain products. So I'm pretty sure it'll be easy to find a video on how to get the stains off off of your shoes if you ever get some um, um, dye material or some coloring or whatever you want to call it on your materials or your shoes. Let me know in the comment section if y'all know what I'm talking about. I feel like that was a little too much rambling. Forgive me guys if I'm too talkative or sound like I'm just talking out of the side of my neck. It's six in the morning. Trying to give y'all a good good look at the shoe. I think the shoe look good. I think it's fire. Skill to one of ten, give it a ten. <clears throat> Not sure what I'm gonna wear with this though. You can easily wear all black. You know what I'm saying? You could rock the teal color. Maybe you could rock the uh, tropical pink color too. Yeah. But you can never go wrong with the all black fit. Never go wrong. All right, I'm gonna get on out of here guys. But like I said, I purchased these shoes on Jimmy Jazz website. And I will be looking up other websites to see if this shoe is available, get y'all more options. And hopefully they're still available by the time I upload this vid. Um, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, guys. Um, don't forget to hit the dislike button too if you didn't, wasn't really feeling this vid. And just, you know, let me know in the comment section. You know what you didn't like about the vid maybe it's something i could change you know what i'm saying i will be trying to do some more on feet vids it just the timing is never right for me to do one um but i know a lot of y'all have addressed your um opinion or concerns when it comes to on feet so i think i did maybe one or two before but um I'm gonna try to do some more. I'm gonna try. But like I said, I mean, I never, yeah, I try to plan a time, put some time aside to where I could just record. But it's honestly the way my schedule is, is whenever I get the chance. Like it's six in the morning right now. I woke up to, you know what I'm saying, to uh, put the clothes in a dryer. And I was like, you know what? It's probably the perfect time to do some recording since I'm up. You know, saying half sleep, but you know, I just do a couple of things to wake myself up, and I get to it. But um, uh, I don't know if y'all care to hear about all of that. But like I said, anytime I'm on this camera, man, I just feel comfortable to chit chat with you guys. You know, what I'm saying. Anyway, I'm gonna get on out of here. Like I said, forget to like, comment, subscribe. Don't don't be afraid to subscribe, guys. Come join the T3J Nation. You know what I'm saying? The TDJ family. Um, we try to show nothing but love here. You know what I mean? I'm going out of here. Peace. Episode 39.